Hey everyone, I decided to make some clay pot people from material that I bought from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has these little clay pots in two different sizes. So you're gonna need two of the bigger ones. They are three and a half inches. And then you're gonna need four of the smaller ones. These are two and a half inches. And the smaller ones are gonna be for your arms and legs on your pot people. The bigger ones are for your um, head and body. Next, you're gonna paint your pots and let them dry. So you can choose whatever paint you want. I chose this, um, it's like a pinkish red called Candy Apple for my little girl pot. And then I chose a gray and blue for my little boy pot. So whatever colors you choose to use is up to you. I used acrylic paint and this was purchased from the Dollar Tree as well. I also bought my brushes from the Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna invest in some better ones because what I found out with some of these is the little black fibers come out of them. So I'm just gonna order some good ones and get it over with. But here I'm gonna start painting my little girl pot. So her little body is gonna be pink. Once you have the bottom part of your clay pot painted, you're gonna sit that aside. I'm gonna work on the one for my little boy because I want the rim to be a, a different color than the actual body of the pot itself. So I'll start on that one. And for my girl, I'm gonna use some white for the rim. But for the boy, I use the grayish color and blue. Once I let this dry, I decided that I wanted a second coat because you could still see through to the clay part. So let that dry really good and then do another coat on it and then let that dry. Then I took my blue color to start on my little boy pot. And again, this came from the Dollar Tree. It's a chalkboard paint. Dollar Tree has that now. I'm gonna dip my brush in there and start on the little boy pot. The rim is going to be blue, and then I want the uh, body of the little boy to be like the gray color.
Okay, now all of my pots are finished. The boy and the girl bodies and arms and legs. So now you're going to draw the face on your pots and I practiced on a sticky note before I actually freehanded it onto the pot. So you want to do that to make sure you're uh, good enough at it because you're going to use a black sharpie. Um, I would suggest you use a pencil and then maybe color or trace it over with a black sharpie but I just went ahead and um, started practicing with my sharpie and then I'll paint it and then I'll go back over it later. Now here's where you're going to paint the um, eyes part white and the little eyeball section is going to be black. Instead of using black paint, I'm just going to take my um, Sharpie marker and fill that in since it's already black. I want my color to be darker than the paint. And you can use different colors for your eyes if you want to. I just chose the white for both of my pot people. And then once I get finished, I'm going to trace over the outline and make it darker so it will show up better. And here's the final face. Isn't she just lovely? I just love these little faces. You can make them however you want. I should just suggest that you look online and find some different face drawings and then practice before. But now I'm gonna practice on my little boy pot. So I'm gonna draw his face and then I'm gonna paint it and then go over the outline the same way that I did the little girl. Okay, now you're going to put your people together. You're going to need some twine. And I made the mistake of getting a twine that was thinner. I should have got some that was a little bit thicker. So I suggest that you get some thicker twine or like a nylon rope. Because you're going to stick that through your um, holes in the bottoms of your pots. And then you'll pull it back through. But I had to tie several knots here because my twine was so thin.
Next, I'm gonna figure out how far down I want my arms to hang. So you're going to take your twine and then run it down through the hole in your body. And you can tie some knots in it or you can hot glue it inside, either one. I ended up doing both. But what I did after I put my twine in my hole there is I actually took some hot glue to hold it in place on the top part and that helped it to be more steady. Okay, next I'm going to attach the head part to the little girl's body. But first I'm gonna put some hot glue in there to hold that twine in place because I didn't use a thicker twine. So I'm gonna put the twine down in the hole in the top of the body and pull that through. Tie a couple of knots in there to hold it. Add hot glue if you need to. Now that we have that step completed, we're going to put our leg parts on our body. So we're gonna take that twine and stick it down into the uh, hole of the body. And I'm gonna pull it through and then I'm going to take some hot glue and glue the bottom of the head part and stick it to the body so that it will hold together. Just be careful when you're doing this part that you don't get hot glue right there on your twine because it'll stick, especially if you haven't pulled that all the way through. And you're going to have to probably put some hot glue inside to hold that twine in place. Okay, there we have it. There's our little girl pop person. Isn't she cute? She has her arms and her legs and this is our little boy. We're going to go through the same steps with the little boy that we did with the little girl and put him together. For the final step, I wanted to add some embellishments to my pop people. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're like little colored jewels. You can choose whatever color you want to use. I put um, pink and purple on the little girl and a blue and green on my little boy and I'm gonna get some hens or chicks and plant in the top part of these little clay pot people.